Today we have Celeste Bradley on the show. She is a Houston native, a pastry chef, a spoken word artist, and my sister guy. So fun fact y'all, she actually discipled me to my faith. Like, me coming to Christ two years ago was low, not because of Celeste, but she really was a major part of me finding my faith and really just getting me through the hard parts. No, y'all, I gave her a hard time, but she really put up with me. Like, you really did. Like, I was like, Celeste, my heart's <laughs> like, it, it, it was crazy, but she really um, put up with me and I really appreciate her. So I thought it'd be best to bring her on the show just to talk to you guys a little bit about the Christian walk and um, just kind of what she's been going through in her life too as well. So today we're talking about Christian struggles and I thought it'd be best to bring all on a very beloved sister of mine to talk a little bit more about uh, the struggles that come with Christian dating and staying pure with feeling shame and guilt with your walk or whatever sin you may have you know encountered or done and also like just battling for superiority or leadership when it comes to relationships that's really hard in the Christian community as women you know women are really strong in their walk and we just want to lead these men because they don't know what they're doing they don't they don't I mean, some don't, okay? But we right. just, you know, you just feel right. like, no, some just don't. You're just like, I can help him. I can fix him. Mm -hmm. I can fix him. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit more about those struggles. Um, your struggle with maybe purity while dating or your struggle with being a leader. Okay. So what's an experience that you've had where you had to lead the man in, the, in, your, in his faith and kind of be the, kind of fight for that position as a spiritual leader? Like what's an experience that you, you've witnessed with that? One guy, he, um, was submitted to this idea that you can lose your salvation. Mm -hmm. And of course, I just think that that's totally anti the gospel, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and so in that sense, like there's this, um, he thinks I'm not submissive because I'm not submitting to his theology oh, and- I've experienced that. Right, and, and in my mind, it's like, if I were to submit to you, I would be, doing so while also going against mm -hmm. um at least in my mind i'd be going against god himself yeah. like um so that was one but the other one what was the other one one was it was just bad theology mm -hmm. oh the other one he he just had a, a lack of <laughs> Lack of spiritual. He just had a he had a lack. Yeah, and hey, you know, no Jesus. He, uh, I mean, I can't say I can't say well, that. I can't is, say that. But the fruits weren't the fruits weren't right. He kind of. I, I think what scripture would call like a, a form of godliness. He had the form of godliness thing down pack. Like he definitely loved oh worship music and he was into church culture and all that good stuff. But um, he himself in his own private time and like, you know, conversations we would have on the phone yeah. and like just the tones thereof, like. Yeah, it just wasn't. It, nah, nah, nah. And so, you know, I feel like, you know, if, if I'm the one who's, you know, praying, reading, trying to get yeah. you to pray and read, no. like, I'm not trying to discuss what you know. <laughs> That's the red flag too, cause like when you when you see yourself, hey babe, we should pray. Hey babe, let's go to church. Hey babe, can we can we talk about Jesus? Hey, can we go uh, 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 to Bible study? When you find yourself being the one dragging right. your person to right. Jesus, nah, like, nah, that's a problem because mm -hmm. literally the Bible already calls men to be the spiritual leader. Right. It's like if they can't lead in courtship or dating, then how much more a marriage? So it's like how much more we, a marriage? It's almost like we think that we can change them and then when we change them they'll be the leader and they'll be good which in some divine cases in some divine cases some divine cases uniquely god, divine cases god can do that <laughs> but for the majority respect yourself right and just you know be patient if it's in your will god will send you a man that will lead you and it's yeah. like you won't have to be bob the builder you won't have to hello <laughs> where my hammer at where my hammer at <laughs> You know, you won't have to be Bob the Builder. You know, you won't have to build a man.com. You won't have to do that. Cause I've experienced doing that. So it's really this is a 
topic. This is a topic that is close to Low key, heart. low key, fam. I've experienced that. So, right. um, it's really important, like she said, you know, if you're in the right relationship, you won't have to fight for authority. You won't have to fight for spiritual headship. Mm -hmm. I feel like even with, I mean, with people in general, there's going to be some kind of disagreement. Like, oh, I don't think that, but hear each other out, you know? Right. So why do you think that? Okay, we can all come to a point of seeing where you're coming from versus saying, you have to follow what I say. Are you God? Yeah, you're following Christ. I mean, hopefully you're following Christ. Right. And then I'm following you as you follow Christ as a husband. First of all, we're not married. Second of all, um, you know, your first doctrine has to be, first of all, we're not married. First your doctrine has to be popping. Your doctrine has to be popping. Doctrine has to be popping. Doctrine has to be popping, y'all. Y'all play around with these boys talking about some, for God so loved the world that he gave the only son. If that's the only verse he knows. I'm telling you. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. If that is the only verse he knows, then that's, that's a problem. Just right. because of the fact that you're gonna want someone that knows more. So yeah, so I think that that's where the, the pool comes in. Whenever the man doesn't know enough and you know more, which usually happens. Oh, and you know what? Like, sometimes I fool myself into thinking that I'm okay with that, which a woman, I mean, some women can be because I'm really passionate about yeah. things like systematic theology. Like I have, yeah. I want to know so yeah. much. I care about old covenant, Ooh. I care about new covenant. But other people can be so much more like, let, let me study this, you know, one or two chapters and then go live that out. You know what I'm saying? You know, like yeah. I'm gonna focus on, yeah. you know, service and hitting the road mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And so, you know, like sometimes I can be like, oh, well, you know, I see, um, that this person is really passionate about yeah. oh, active, not that the two are on opposite yeah, polars. On opposite polars. Mm -hmm. Some girls don't mind, but as for me, I kind of <laughs> like, you know, iron sharpens iron or whatever, but I yeah. think his, his iron to be a little bit more sharp than mine is. <laughs> <laughs> I need a, a, a little, little bit more sharp. Exactly. No, I mean, true, 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 true. I feel like there should be a, a balance, but he should still have more of a drive to want to lead you and grow and be a spiritual, you know, be the spiritual headship for your household one day, potentially, right? So, um, yeah, so what about um, the purity struggle? Like, the purity struggle is real, especially when you're dating. I think that a lot of Christians don't touch, it, touch on it as much as it should be touched on, but it really is a struggle. Um, so, would you like to kind of talk a little bit about that, too? Um, you know what? I had, I mean, we all kind of, as women, like, you'll typically hear about the girl who has a really bad breakup. So, I had mine in 2010. <laughs> And um, after that, I decided that I was just gonna um, be single for a little bit. I knew that I needed the time. So after that, ironically, mm -hmm. I told myself like, I'm good, I'm yeah. good on purity. You know, like took, took my few years, you know, um, um, did my own thing, spent my time with God, all that good stuff. And then when I decided to um, get into relationships again, oh, Oh. I mean, the thing is that you would think, no, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, you would think that, oh yeah, I've been single for three years. I got this. I got this. Right, no. Like, okay, okay. Like, and it's crazy because you think that, I mean, it just, it just, it just further pinpoints the idea and the fact, biblically, that our flesh is nonsense. Right. Our flesh is so nonsense because it's like, it doesn't matter how much you're like, oh, I haven't, you know, done anything in like, Five years I've had sex, I haven't been intimate with anybody. Right. It does not matter because your body, matter. your body does not like, oh yeah, thanks Crystal or thanks Celeste, we're good. No, your body is wired to hello, especially because we're grown women, like we're not children anymore. Exactly. We have ovaries, and they're <laughs> crying, like we have estrogen, we have hormones, and it's like, yeah, it's only by the grace of God and truly, truly by, you know, God intervening and strengthening you. Because, I mean, our flesh is nonsense. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you would think, like, oh, a year, you know, two years, three years, I'm great. Like, I must be with Mother Teresa. I must be <laughs> okay. out here doing something. Right. And then you get into a relationship and you're like, wait, what is this? Wait, hold on, wait. <laughs> we can, <laughs> I mean, I knew you was cute, but you ain't got to do the most right you now. Know, like, so, it's, it's, it's definitely one of those things where you're, you're caught off guard right. and, um, it takes a lot of, I think hearing about it, like being wise and being discerning um, on yourself, like self-educate yourself, being self-conscious. Self-educate yourself. You know, self-educate yourself, be conscious about it, like yeah, like just because I've been celibate for three years or I'm a virgin or whatever the case may be does not mean that 
it can't be, you know, taken in a second or it can't be, right. um, or I can't stumble or I can't even fall into impurity. You don't have to have right. sex to be impure, mm -hmm. you know? So I think that, um, it don't put no confidence in your flesh. Just don't, man. just don't, just don't do that. So, um, yeah, I think that's huge. I think that it also, also, it also taints the relationship. Like, mm -hmm. I, I feel like when you're intimate with your partner and y'all are both seeking Christ wholeheartedly, it truly does impact your, your communion with each other. Cause it's right. kind of like we're, we're sinning. Right. Over and over right. And over right. Again. And honestly, like that's I think that's kinda like how one of my relationships ended. I mean it needed to end because he was kinda lukewarm. Mm -hmm. So you know, I wouldn't say lukewarm, but he the fruits weren't really there mm -hmm. and I was kinda tired of leaving and I was just like, I can't do this no more. Right. I can't I can't live like this. So it really ruins the communion. It really ruins your image of your 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 potential husband or your man or you know, of the women. So Sin just is not, sin is just, it's lethal. Sin is lethal. I, I mean, sin leads to death. Like, I mean, right. it's lethal and it's like, it's not helpful for a healthy relationship. So, um, I think purity and dating is not maybe the easiest thing, but it's very doable. It is doable. It's doable. I mean, a lot of fighting your flesh, dying to yourself, mm -hmm. and really just, you know, yeah. reminding yourself of the, the benefits and the blessings that come with staying pure mm -hmm. and um, just reaching that goal, you know. I mean, it's possible. It is possible. <laughs> And I mean, I mean, this can be even somewhat of a redundant conversation, but like, I feel like we've all heard it before, but it's one of those things like, you just gotta follow through with your boundaries. Like there are times like, I may even seem legalistic, but it might be necessary. Yeah. Like I can't always hold hands with the person that I'm talking to because if I'm just, if I'm just in heat at the moment for whatever reason, like one time I'm sitting in church, like, Word is good, but I just can't focus because dude sitting right next to me, he fine. Like, I, I literally had to get up and move to the other side of the church. And then one, one of the ladies afterwards, that's she real. came up and was like, are you mad at him? Is everything But that's okay? so real. That's you know? so real. I mean, that's so real because it's like, we want to pretend like, oh, we're just right. perfect and we don't have these urges and we don't have anything. And it's like, that's not true. And it's like, get up and move. Like, it's right. as real as that. You know, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm a Christian. I can do this. And then you can fall. You're like, right. wait, wait. Right. So that's real. That's so real. She got up and she moved away. And that's so practical. No, get up and move. He gave you legs. Get up and walk away. Right. Like, you know, so I think it's so important. I think that um, purity is, and within the context of dating and in general, um, is important for the Christian walk because I think that it leaves us. Um, Kind of like almost blameless. Like you know, we don't have to feel like we're 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 we're, we're falling into sin. We're growing right. unhealthy with healthily with Christ, and it's just helpful for you know just the Christian walk. It's like that's the purpose of this channel to really just talk about real stuff, to get to the nitty gritty, take off the Christian cap or Christian gown, and really just be real, be real about our walks and be real about what we're going through. So thank you so much, Celeste, for coming on this channel and sharing with us your Christian struggles and just sharing with the world too and being vulnerable and being bold about this. Like, man, people need to hear this. People need more Christians that are willing to step out and say, hey, I've been there, I'm, I've done that, or oh, I'm still stuck in that. And that's what we're going to use as a weapon to conquer the devil and conquer whatever plans he has for your life to keep you in the darkness and keep you hidden with your sin or whatever it may be. We're bringing that to the light and we're going to discuss that here. So I'm so grateful for you on this channel. And Thank you for having me. Yes, no, it was great. I enjoyed being with her because we haven't linked up in a minute, but this this was fun. This was really fun. Um, so if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, my new channel. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me or er, er, where. I also link Celeste's pastry details in my description bar below, her Instagram and her Twitter, so you can find her. She does spoken word as well, so book her. <laughs> Girls need to eat. So book her. Oh okay? my goodness. <laughs> book her. We all need to eat. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.